Hello, it's Pierre from Geo Designs, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Unsplash plugin in order to find royalty free photos in a matter of seconds. So, the very first thing that you want to do is uh, go under Unsplash, and as you can see, we have uh, some of the Instagram posts which I'm recently posting on my Instagram page, and uh, see that I want to add a new image in uh, this post i'm simply going to search uh, for unsplash under the plugins and as you can see this one is uh, the plugin which uh, we want to use and uh, i'm going to duplicate in the meantime that uh, unsplash loads uh, this up as uh, i'm going to pretend that i want to add an image directly into this rectangle because in the vast majority of cases, you want, uh, want an image uh, just floating around uh, the Figma file, but you want it in a specific location. So once you install the Unsplash plugin, uh, you have a few uh, choices. The very first one is to simply search for a given term, or you can use uh, one of the most uh, common uh, search filters directly from here. So in this case, we're going to search specifically for NFT as uh, probably this new post is going to be around this concept. And as you can see, we can find all sorts of different images related to this concept. So I can simply select any layer, click on the image, and as you're going to see, the image is being uploaded directly in a matter of seconds. So this is so much more convenient than going on Unsplash, uh, the website or any other royalty free website for that matter and uh, manually downloading and then finding the image in your downloads folder, dragging and dropping into Figma. This is going to really speed up the workflow quite significantly. And uh, this works uh, also for multiple images. So I'm going to select this one and this one at the same time. And I'm going to select another image. And as you can see, you can create uh, multiple updates uh, to this uh, uh, image selection in a matter of seconds. So for the very most part, it's just a matter of searching uh, the areas uh, which uh, or related to your specific project and uh, simply adjusting and uh, updating uh, the image directly into the project. Another way that you can do it is uh, without having uh, a selection already, you can simply deselect everything uh, and then click uh, on uh, any given image and uh, as you're going to see, the image is being uploaded in uh, its uh, original file size directly into Figma. So this is definitely another way that uh, you can uh, use Unsplash uh, and uh, simply find uh, any royalty-free image which uh, you want in a matter of uh, a very short amount of time. So I hope this video was helpful. If you want to learn more about Figma and are already for free, feel free to check out the link in the description where on our website we have tons of articles and free resources as well as other videos directly on our channel. And I'll see you in the very 